Hi, this video is for the, um, the iTarget Pro um, laser device that uh, goes into the chamber of a weapon and um, provides the ability to, um, to practice without, um, without firing a live round. It's a pretty cool device. First off, let me say, this is neither a review of the device nor is it a tutorial on the device. What it is, is, my, is a video regarding my effort to try to improve the safety, a person's safety when using the device. All right, with that said, I'm going to start with a loaded pistol. I'm going to remove this. <clears throat> my particular pistol is a CZ brand, um, Model P07 9mm. This is a wep this is a loaded weapon right now, um, and the thing. Well, I like several things about it, but the, one of the things that I like is that with the bolt closed and locked, you can clearly see there's a little silver spot right there. That is the cartridge case of the hollow point that is in the chamber. The gun is fully loaded with a double stack magazine. All right, so the, the issue that I have with, with using the iPro, the iTarget Pro, is that if you're, if, and I'm talking about me, you know, your mileage may vary. In my particular case, um, I, I carry this weapon every day, every day. And in the, for what it's worth category, I carry it in, in a soft holster, in appendix carry, um, with a light shirt over it, and every time I, and I never remove the weapon um, from my body without first drawing it, because it just it's just one step of, one additional step of practice. Uh, because it's under my shirt, I always reach under, um, draw the weapon, roll it, and then pointed. Um, it's, you know, just a daily practice thing with me. Um, and that's all I have to say about that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is unload the weapon. The magazine is full. I'm going to, there's the cartridge. And at this point I have a completely unloaded weapon. Okay. I'm going to install the laser device into the chamber. Okay, now the weapon is cocked. And the, th the point of this video, the entire point of the video, is that I have painted the, the, the base end of the laser with red fingernail polish, not mine, my wife's. Um, and that allows me to see when the there is a when the laser is in the weapon, you can clearly see, at least I can on my phone's display, I can see that it is red. And that tells me the laser is in there. And more importantly, it tells me that a live round is not in there. Weapon is cocked. The one of the things I like about the this weapon is there's a decocker, okay? And then I can carry it um, with a round in the chamber and um, and the hammer down. And then it's a combination double action, um, single action pistol, because after the first live round, the hammer will be back. And then from then on, it's single action. All right, with that said, um, this, as I said, is the whole point of this device, uh, this video. Um, so uh, with the, the pistol, and you can see the, the, the laser is in there, so when I fire it, let's see, I'm going to have to try to get it down to where I can, yeah, okay. Now, you can clearly see that the, the laser is not on center. Now, this is looking down the barrel, but I can see, um, even though the barrel is pointed directly at the camera, the the shot is hitting um, is is hitting low and to the 
to the left. And it's not as a result of me flinching and doing this. The, the laser is not, is not directly parallel with the barrel on my particular laser. Again, your mileage may vary. You, um, and what I find is that the, the laser is very consistent when I, you know, if I hold the thing, if I hold the weapon absolutely dead still and fire it, I will put from whatever range that I can get the target, it will pretty much put the, the, the dot in the same place every time. What it's not going to do, or at least again on my gun, is put it directly in the center of the, the target. Um, I don't know if there are any adjustments that allow me to, do, to fix that or not, but um, that's just the way mine is. So the last thing is in, when removing the laser, I have a little, a, a very handy technical device called a swizzle stick that I put down the barrel and there it is. So um, I think that's all I have to say. I'm going to reload the magazine. Put it into the weapon. And now the weapon's ready to fire. And I've decocked it. And it's ready to go back into my holster. And again, you can see the shiny silver part. Okay, so the last thing is this is what I have painted. Just you know, this is this is the business end of the laser. This is the there's a rubber knob here that the firing pin hits, and when you push the push the knob, I don't know if I can you, know, you can see the thing lighting up. Um, <clears throat> so that's all it takes to to um, that's all you need to paint in order to make it visible in the weapon. Now, having said that. Uh, although I don't have a 45 version of this device, um, I do have a Colt Combat Commander uh, 45 Auto, which in which the the barrel, uh, I mean the bolt when it's closed, you know you cannot see the round, so you'd have to pull back the, the, the slide a little bit in order to be able to see it. Um, that's one of the things I really like about this particular weapon. So um, I think that's all I have to say. So um, thank you very much and safe shooting.